Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video and thanks for watching. Now, where are all my Tanzanians and all the lovers of Tanzania? You know it's always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting but lesser known facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. Well, in this video, we're taking you all the way to East Africa and we're shining the light on one of the most beautiful countries in that part of the continent, Tanzania. Officially known as the United Republic of Tanzania, Tanzania is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lake region. It is bordered by Uganda to the north, Kenya to the northwest, Comoros Island and the Indian Ocean to the east, Mozambique and Malawi to the south, Zambia to the southwest, and Rwanda, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo to the west. That's a whole lot of borders. Tanzania has a population of about 56.3 million people, spread across its 947,303 km square of island. The country gained its independence from the United Kingdom in 1961 and Swahili is the official language of the country. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Tanzania, whose current president is John Magufuli, has a GDP of about $186 billion and a per capita income of $3,571. Tanzania is a wildlife heaven, and with that said, here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Tanzania. Number 1. Tanzania has the highest concentration of animals per square kilometers in the world. When it comes to wildlife, East African countries top the list around the world. Tanzania is a large country filled with different species of animals. In Tanzania, there are roughly 4 million wild animals, accounting for 20% of Africa's large mammal population. It's also home to the largest lion population on the planet. Some numbers quote over 16,000 lions. Tanzania's fauna is notable both for sheer numbers and variety, with representatives of 430 species and subspecies among the country's more than 4 million wild animals. These include zebras, elephants, wild beasts, buffaloes, hippos, giraffes, antelopes, digdigs, gazelles, elangs and kudus. Number 2. The shortest war in history was fought in Tanzania. The Anglo-Zanzibar War was a military conflict fought between the United Kingdom and the Zanzibar Sultanate on the 27th of August 1896. The conflict lasted between 38 and 45 minutes, making it the shortest recorded war in history. The immediate cause of the war was the death of the pro-British Sultan, Hamad bin Thuwaini, on the 25th of August 1896 and the subsequent succession of Sultan Khalid bin Bargash. The British authorities preferred Hamoud bin Mohammed, who was more favorable to the British interest as Sultan. In accordance with the treaty signed in 1886, a condition for accession to the Sultanate was that the candidate obtained the permission of the British consulate and Khalid did not fulfill that requirement. The ultimatum expired at 9 o'clock East African time on the 27th of August by which the British had gathered three cruisers, two gunboats, 150 marines and sailors and 900 Zanzibaris in the harbour area. Britain came out the victor with just one person wounded while the losing side suffered a somewhat greater loss with more than 500 dead or injured. Number 3. Tanzania is home to the highest mountain in Africa. Mount Kilimanjaro with its three volcanic cones, Kibo, Mawenzi and Shira is a dominant volcano in Tanzania. It is the highest mountain in Africa and the highest single freestanding mountain in the world, with a summit of 5,895 meters above sea level and about 4,900 meters high from its plateau base. Kilimanjaro is also the fourth most topographically prominent peak on earth. The first people known to have reached the summit of the mountain were Hans Meyer and Ludwig Puchella in 1889. The mountain is part of Kilimanjaro National Park and is a major climbing destination. Because of its shrinking glacier and disappearing ice fields, the mountain has been subject to many scientific studies. Number 4. The world's largest volcanic crater is found in Tanzania. Ngorongoro Crater is an extinct volcanic caldera in the Eastern Rift Valley, northern Tanzania. It lies 120 kilometers west of the town of Arusha. The caldera measures between 16 to 19 kilometers across and has an area of 264 square kilometers. Its heavily forested rim rises 2,000 feet, that is 610 meters above the caldera's floor to an elevation of 7,500 feet that is 2,286 meters. 
Ngorongoro is thought to have formed about 2.5 million years ago from a large active volcano whose cone collapsed inwards after a major eruption, leaving the present vast unbroken caldera as its chief remnant. The caldera's floor is predominantly open grassland. It is home to a diverse array of animals including elephants, black rhinos, leopards, buffaloes, zebras, warthogs, wild beasts, grants and thompson's gazelles, and the densest population of lions in the world. The local Maasai population also grazed their livestock in the crater. Lake Magadi, a shallow soda lake ringed by extinct volcanoes, is renowned as a habitat for great flocks of pink flamingos. Number 5. Tanzania is the third largest country in East Africa by surface area. Amongst all the countries in East Africa, Tanzania is the third largest in terms of surface area. Tanzania has a surface area of about 974,303 km square. The largest and most populated city in Tanzania is Dar es Salaam, which was previously the country's capital before it was transferred to Dodoma. It comes after Ethiopia with a surface area of about 1,103,400 km square and Sudan. Tanzania is also the 13th largest country in Africa and the 31st in the world. Number 6. The largest land crab in the world can be found in Tanzania. Tanzania is home to the coconut crab. This crab, the largest crab in the world and reportedly one of the most delicious, can be found in Chumbe Island of Zanzibar. At up to 1 meter, that is 3 feet long, coconut crab are not simply the largest land crabs. They are also the largest arthropods, the group that includes insects, spiders and crustaceans that live on land. These crabs have the advantage of living underwater where its weight is supported. Despite their weight, they eat a varied diet, including lots of fleshy fruits and they also prey on smaller crabs. And they also prey on smaller crabs. When they decide to eat a coconut, they rip strips of husk off with their pincers, then hit it repeatedly until it breaks open. They live in underground burrows lined with fibers from coconut husks. Unlike most crabs, they are almost entirely land-based, only returning to the sea to lay their eggs. Number 7. Muhammad Deoji is the richest person in Tanzania. Muhammad Deoji is a Tanzanian billionaire who was born in 1975. He's the CEO of Muhammad Enterprise Tanzania Limited. He's the youngest billionaire in Africa. He owns 75% stakes of this company. The company was founded by his father. He continued the business with all his effort and hard work. He also owns many government-oriented manufacturing plants such as edible oils and textile industries. His actual net worth is near about $1.9 billion. He was recognized as the richest businessman according to Forbes. Number 8. The Great Migration in Tanzania is being considered as one of the wonders in the world. Each year, close to 2 million wild beasts, zebras and other antelopes gather up their young and start the long trek up north from Tanzania Serengeti National Park to Kenya's Masai Mara National Park in search of greener pasture. Their journey runs in a clockwise cycle, covers some 1,800 miles, that is 2,900 kilometers, and is notoriously fraught with peril. Annually, an estimated 2,500,000 wild beasts and 30,000 zebras die en route as a result of predators, exhaustion, thirst or diseases. River crossings are especially dangerous. Heads gather in their thousands to forge the water in the Grumeti River in Tanzania and the Mara River in Tanzania and Kenya, at both points running the gauntlet of strong currents and lurking crocodiles. However, they undoubtedly offer some of Africa's most dramatic wildlife encounters and are particularly rewarding for photographers. Number 9. Tanzania has had a total of 5 presidents since independence. Since the independence of Tanzania in 1961, there have been a total of 5 presidents. The first president of Tanzania was Julius Nyerere, who became president on November 1, 1964. He was the president of Tanzania for 21 years and 4 days. The second president, Ali Hassan Mwinyi, took office on November 5, 1985 and ruled for 10 years and 18 days. Benjamin Kappa became the third president and ruled for 10 years 28 days. The fourth president of Tanzania was Jakaya Kikwete and he was the president for 9 years and 319 days. John Magufuli became the 5th president of Tanzania on November 5, 2019 and is currently the president of the country. 
Number 10. Lake Victoria in Tanzania is the largest tropical lake and the second largest freshwater lake in the world. Tanzania shares with most of its East African neighbors the massive Lake Victoria. Although the bulk of Lake Victoria rests in Tanzania, part of it rests in Uganda, Kenya and Rwanda. Lake Victoria provides livelihood to communities in seven countries in Africa. That's Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Sudan, Rwanda, South Sudan and Egypt, which shares the waters of Lake Victoria through the River Nile, which empties the lake into the Mediterranean Sea in Egypt. This lake is home to a great variety of freshwater species including hippos, fish, crocodiles and turtles, among others. It not only supplies food, but is also a source of hydropower. It's a transnational transport hub and a marine tourism hub. There you have it, Displorers. Those were some interesting facts you probably didn't know about Tanzania. Are you a Tanzanian watching this video? Feel free to add more facts about Tanzania you feel have not been mentioned in this video and the best comment will be pinned. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your favorite countries in Africa, do well to leave your suggestion in the comment section below and we'll do our best to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.